and it is Lense Odingo. My name is John Jacob Curio. Welcome to the broadcast. And I am Regina Manyara. Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa will now receive back his 200 million shillings he had forfeited to the state. This is after the asset recovery agencies agreed to up by a move by the Director of Public Prosecution to withdraw the graft case against Gashagwa and three others that had compelled him to forfeit the money to the state. Deputy President Rigavi Gishago will receive back his 200 million shillings that he had forfeited to the state in an alleged corruption case. Gishago won the battle to reclaim his money after a three-judge bench of the Court of Appeal consisting of Justice Daniel Mosinga, Emana Lebuta and Genya Masharia allowed a consent signed by lawyers of both sides settling the forfeiture of 200 million shillings belonging to Rigavi Gishago. Gishago had surrendered the money to the state in 2022 to the Asset Recovery Agency after High Court Judge Esther Minam ruled that he had failed to explain how he acquired the wealth from government agencies, prompting him to file an appeal. The money was forfeited to the state by the Deputy President, who was then Madira Member of Parliament in an alleged case of money laundering that also involved Ankimimiyajin Enterprises Limited. The Asset Recovery Agency says it relied on investigations and conclusions by the DCI and proceeded to confiscate the funds in dispute. On the 9th of November 2022, the agency learned that the case was being withdrawn by the DPP through the medium on the basis that investigations had not been exhausted and there was no enough evidence to sustain the criminal trial. The agency says it has since established that the money was not proceeds of crime as was initially perceived. Serafini Robin for Prime Edition.